it's all about the ride not the destination but it is kind of cool when you got a cool destination hey y'all welcome to the channel my name is Sean this is UCM pegs and today we're doing a little pre-fall moto vlog um, it's my riding season I am super excited uh, for those of you that don't know my wife is a well she works in the school system so my summers I tend to spend more time with her uh, she's not a big motorcycle person and in the fall when she goes back to work that kind of opens me up to start enjoying some more riding and she encourages me to do it now before we get started let me remind you to like comment and subscribe and as always on my channel if you don't feel like typing words just leave me an emoji and let me know you were here I would greatly appreciate that so, but hang on let's get some 360 here this is one of my favorite places I've been doing some projects around the house and it is a gorgeous day it's 73 degrees like 40 percent humidity a nice fall feel in the air wearing a little flannel this evening it's about uh, 10 till 7 in the evening and I got to thinking about some stuff I'm gonna do this fall and the first thing I'm gonna do is this Friday September 13th I am heading up to Ocean City Maryland for the Ocean City Bike Fest or Del Marva Bike Fest, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've done this before. It's a, it's a day ride for me. It's only a few hours up the eastern shore and it's just an opportunity to get out and ride and go to a decent little rally because Ocean City is a pretty cool little rally. It's pretty chill, uh, but they have everything you want. They've got music, they've got food, they've got tons of vendors, uh, like three locations I think with vendors and a lot of the big name vendors are there so it's a good rally to get up to and spend the day and plus i probably will treat myself to a tony luke's cheesesteak while i'm up there um so if you're planning on going to ocean city uh, leave me a comment you know, hit me up on instagram i'd love to, to meet up with you um, i love meeting new people now i'm not doing a meetup per se i'm not that large of a channel so you know i'm just going to be up there hanging around and see who i can run into and uh, you know create a little content and show you guys Ocean City so that's my first plan for the fall um, my second plan is the possibility of doing a turn and burn down to Biketoberfest um, I'm not hundred percent yet well we're just gonna see how the cards you know play out I've done this before and when I say turn and burn I typically will leave like Friday after work um, and run down there because it's I-95 all the way down and I'd much rather run I-95 at night and uh, just get down there maybe stay somewhere in South Carolina get up early the next morning and then roll in the Daytona and have a full day of the rally um, stay the night and then you know have another half day of the rally and then again turn and burn home um, and try to get home either that night or early the next morning so we'll see how that plays out but in between there's a couple other small rallies here on the east coast that i'm looking at doing um, one of them is our little outer banks bike fest it's going to be i think uh weekend after next it all depends i got some work travel i don't know if i'm gonna be able to make that one we'll see but uh, the outer banks little rallies are pretty cool now they're kind of spread out they're not your typical rally so they're kind of spread out more of a dealer event you're not going to have a downtown area or anything like that uh, not big vendors or anything it's going to be local vendors but you can't go wrong with the outer banks the tourists are gone we've got the roads back um, great food it's oyster season so yeah it's a good reason to get down there in the outer banks and do some riding there are some beautiful rides down there so just for that i wouldn't mind getting down and i think i owe a couple people some biscuits and porn shirts i have to go check my notes now there's another little rally that I haven't been to in quite some time and it's relatively young. It's only been going on for about 10 years and um, it is the Colonial Beach Bike Fest and it's in October. Um, I went to their first one and I want to say I went to the, either the second or third and this is an impressive little rally. Um, little coastal town, Colonial Beach, uh, up Route 17 toward Maryland 
in Virginia. Kind of a fishing village vibe, but it kind of gives you a downtown Sturgis vibe on the water. Uh, there's a couple cool little bars that red out, roll out the red carpet, live music, vendors everywhere, um, people just hanging out, enjoying themselves, and some definite good riding up there around Route 17, um, you know, between, you know, Virginia and Maryland. So that, that's a good one too. So if you're, you know, anywhere around Colonial Beach, you'll just have to Google it. That's one you might want to take a look at. It's a decent little, you know, bike fest rally, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm also planning on maybe an overnight trip and I, I went last year I went out to West Virginia and I really really enjoyed riding out there but I'm kind of on the fence it's been a while since I've been down to Deals Gap uh, matter of fact I've never been to Deals Gap on this motorcycle and I've had this motorcycle since 2018 so I kind of want to go down there and ride the Cherahala and that's always a good time down there but I don't know that that's going to be another one that's up in the air and we're going to see you know how everything falls into place and i might scoot down there for that one or i might scoot over into west virginia uh the hellbender has been kind of intriguing me as well but uh that's my fall so far now i'll ride up into the winter and then early uh spring maybe late winter february i've got my valentine ride that i do so yeah i'm looking forward to my riding season when's your riding season are you a summer person or are you like me are you more of a fall uh riding season and then springtime riding season leave me a comment let me know what you think what, what's your what's your favorite time of the year to ride well that's it for this week um i hope you guys enjoyed i haven't done a moto vlog in a while so don't know how how often i'm going to do this we'll see but i do enjoy getting out and clearing my head on a beautiful evening and I appreciate you guys coming along with me. So until we talk again, you guys be careful. You guys be safe. Always keep your shiny side up. And we'll talk to you next time.